Hello and welcome back to the show. We are in career mode. Going to see what we can do here. This one is still a locked, so we're going to have to go over to... That one's locked. So it looks like we got to go to this one. Which I guess is going to be next. Demolition All Stars. And uh, let's see what we can do here. Big Valley Speedway in the Demolition Arena. It is still Sunday morning. It's about almost 5.30 my time. We just got the... Do we want to call it the 4 o'clock video or not quite the 4 o'clock a.m. video? Just got it uploaded <clears throat> to my channel on YouTube, MC Gaming 101 We're going to do a going to do a couple more here and uh, like I said it's about 5 30 a.m. waiting for the Sun to come up so I can get outside and uh, continue my my yard cleanup not that there's a lot to clean up but I figured it is just get a dumpster and just you know don't make a bunch of trips back and forth to to a dumpster somewhere and a lot of mileage on the truck we don't need to do that Looks like we are in our Dominator. Oh, we totally rolled that guy. Totally missed that guy. You know, you can't... You turn the steering wheel while you're in the middle of the air. It doesn't really do you any good. Because I just tried it. The car does not turn in the air even if you turn the steering wheel. Oh, somebody got totally hammered there. Speaking of hammer, Friday night we tied on a good one. <clears throat> we had a whole uh, two big uh, two big drinks, and uh, and uh, then after that, I actually had a couple shots, which is unusual. Uh, and then we got up yesterday morning, and of course went out. Spent several hours in the heat working on our yard cleanup, so things got a little got a little rough, got a little overheated, got a little lightheaded. My wife is like, "You're done." I'm like, "Okay, dear, I'm done." So uh, just came into the house for the rest of the day because uh, of my age it's not good for me to get overheated or lightheaded so we have to slam down some water and get some decent food to eat I'm missing everybody here so that was that I got to wreck three people here Damn limousine. Is this the last man standing? I think it is. It says wreck at least three. I did. Seven opponents left. Let's go after this guy. Five left. Oh! Critical damage. to try to get them where they're going and not where they're at. There's a drone flying around. Where are you guys at? I see you on the map. Don't make me chase you. Yeah, maybe we need to do the backwards thing. Let's do the backwards thing if I can get the camera to go where I want it. No.
trying to chase this guy backwards. It's not the easiest thing to do. Oh, I totally missed him because I turned the wheel the wrong way. Okay, that's the way you want to be about it. Okay, I actually had to go forwards in order to see where the hell he was because I couldn't catch him <clears throat> going backwards. Well, we did pretty good there. We did pretty good on that one. We did pretty good on that one. That was just a one event deal it looks like. So that one is done. That's still locked. I guess we will just jump over to this one here and we'll see what we can get done. Some of these vehicles are not eligible. Ooh, can we get in the outlaw? Let's get in the outlaw. And this is a six race event. In the outlaw, since I can't use the dominator. Which is generally my all around go to car. All right, six race event. And that will probably be, be another video. Sorry, I was adjusting my microphone there. I've raced this car in the past before I got into the Dominator. likes to spin out in the back end. You gotta, gotta, gotta do a lot of throttle management. Because if you just floor the damn thing, the back end spins around and we are caught on somebody's debris. Crossover. Oh. And when you get heavy on the throttle, the back end definitely likes to spin around on you. Crossover. like that. The back end likes to come around. Crossover. Ooh! Ah! Car no turn. Well, we have 12 laps with this. Look how the back end just, it's just spinning the tire or something terrible. It just spins the tires in the back. Something terrible crossover. Yes. We're gonna do a little bit better throttle management. Oh! Go, go. 
get off me, dude. damn thing I could do. top 10, but <clears throat> if I wouldn't have got all, uh, if I wouldn't have got all caught up in a couple of cars there, I said, guys, looking at his watch, yeah, 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 I know. So that was that. Let's see what we're going to get into next. Hilltop Stadium. I think I'll leave the tuning the way it is. Just an oval track. end on this thing is just so damn squirrely it's ridiculous. I mean it looks like everybody's Tokyo and around these corners. Oh that was super close to the wall. Let's don't do that again. Again, we got 12 laps. Losing so much traction back there. That didn't do me a lot of good. Lose so much traction with all that wheel spin. Somebody's flying through the air with the greatest of ease.
so close to the wall. Looks like everybody's pretty much just going full throttle around here. Stay off the wall. I know if I go full, full throttle in these corners, I'm just going to slide up into the wall. So we are trying to stay at a decent line here. Oh, they're wrecking there, and that's a wall. on the brake there just to a split second thinking maybe that would help my time but I don't think so because they're wrecking in front of us with the debris all over the track geez the first place guy's over a second ahead of us and I hit a car on the track hopefully he'll wreck and then I can get up there nope Damn it. Yep. They're being a little tough on this one. Oh, we were sideways. I'm not sure, did we get top five or we got fourth? We got fourth. We got fourth. Hopefully we can do a little bit better on this next one. I wonder what I got the difficulty set on. I'm going to have to check. We're back to Big Valley Speedway again. Um... Oh, they're on expert. That's why. So let's put them back on amateur. Put them back on amateur. At least give me half a fighting chance. Even fourth is not bad, but I didn't realize that they were on uh, expert, which is okay. But amateur, you kind of get right in the middle between not so good and really good. It's still going to be tough even on amateur. Especially the way this car is just sliding everywhere. That is so close to the wall. Look that front end up there like that. We'll see how much we gain on second place here. See, you also got to deal with all this traffic, even though they're on amateur, they still like wreck just like that guy right there, cutting right across the track. A lot can happen in 12 laps. Where are we at? 2.5 seconds ahead of the guy? I don't really consider this cheating. If I had him on Novelist, I'd just be running away with the damn thing. Which I don't want to do. I like to be a little competitive, but... Amateur's pretty good. I mean, yeah, I'm four seconds ahead of... Second place car. But a lot can happen in that four seconds. I mean, we can run into trouble. Had to let off the gas a lot there because I don't really want to hit people. Oh, they're just wrecking hard. Yeah, see right there? We didn't lose hardly any time, which is good. And I'm really surprised on career mode that you can actually 
change them like that to make them novelists so you could just literally run away with it. To me, that's not quite fair, but expert is, uh, is expert. Like I said, I like it. I like it right in the middle because they're good, but they're not so good that you don't have a snowball's chance in hell of winning anything. Of course, if, I'm assuming that if you win while they're on expert, you're going to get more points because the difficulty level is going to be a bit higher. But no, oh, they're just tearing each other up around here. We are just Tokyo and the hell out of it. I don't care about this rival stuff. Rival challenge, big deal. I'm just busy trying to drive. I'm seven seconds over the second place guy. There's a guy totally stuck in the fence. You see that? The back end of his car's off the ground. What is up with that? What is up with that? Eight seconds over second place. So at least we'll get a win in here. We got a win. That's going to help on our... Uh, <clears throat> and we got some tires. We got some rear wheels. Okay, let's move on to the next one, a figure eight. Another figure eight. And um, they're set to amateur. Let's see if I went to novelist, it really wouldn't be fair. And expert is as tough as you can get, obviously. But uh, we're going to leave them on amateur. Because the figure eights are tough as it is. Another 12 laps, starting 13th. Last time we did this and they were on expert, we got all tied up in a bunch of cars that were sideways on the track and holding us up. Oh, the car broke loose right there. I felt the steering wheel give me a little, a little breaking loose. Breaks a little too soon on that one. Ah, that didn't hit the brakes hard enough on that one. Oh, that was close. Crossover. Ooh, that was close. that dude. Trying to do a little bit of throttle management here. Crossover. Well, they didn't screw me too bad. Didn't screw me too bad. Bit successful.
really got to let off on some of these corners. The back end of this car just wants to really be squirreling. It's a nice looking little hot rod, but it just does not drive very well. Whoa! back end just really wants to come out on you. Of course, it doesn't help that I'm probably burning all the rubber off my tires and losing the traction. Great, he's going to be in the middle of the track now. Is there tire wear in this game? I would assume so. I mean, look at all the rubber I'm burning off these tires, man. There's got to be some kind of tire wear. Physics in the game? I don't know. I know after a while, you get down to so many of these laps, she does not like to turn. Yeah, you can just go up under the wall, dude. Okay, that'll work too. Because that was first place. Oh! He's probably going to be mad at me because I, I tossed him. Pieces floating in the middle of the air right there. Sometimes this game will do that. Parts of the car will just be floating. Oh, jeez, man. There must be some tire wear. I am totally not... Totally not turning. She is just sliding everywhere. Hey, dude, what's up? Guy just standing there looking at me like I'm an idiot. Oh, that was close. Yeah, she's not wanting to turn so much now. I think the tire wear up there is correct because I am losing some serious traction. No, you don't. Another close one. Oh yeah, another close one. Holy crap, that's three in a row that almost got me in the crossover. I was giving it all she got there at the very end, Captain. Second place. But it definitely was, uh, definitely was having a hard time uh, there at the end getting around everything. Got uh, two more to go. We got this goofy thing where there's, there's corners at the very end. You got to loop all the way around and come back. on that that's crazy you lose a lot of time spinning them tires like that oh, no brakes we only got 12 laps of this too okay then Trying to 
manage the throttle a little better. So we're not just sliding it back in so much, but it's so difficult to do. Total sideways, you just lose so much time. And you gotta break way early for these corners. I wonder if my throttle saturation is still 141. I might have to check it. Although each car is a little different. The bad thing about this is cars are coming at you head on. Wow, you gotta break so early for that corner. loves to slide sideways. cars down there we got to try to get around. Really likes to slide up in that corner. Where are we at over second place? 14 seconds? Yikes. Just trying to do a little bit of throttle management here keep up our lead at the same time, but not try to go head on with anybody. What a mess. Well, we definitely lost some time. Well, 16 seconds, not bad. <gasps> Hello. How you folks doing? Come head on. to push up in that corner right there. It really does. Ah, that's a wall. That's a wall. Still 15 seconds ahead of the other guy. Or girl. that are out of the race. 
That'll be second place right there, I'm assuming. We're just trying to work our way through here without getting hit on with another car. This thing really likes to push in the corners. It does not like it at all. There's that wall again. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, that's what I... Woo, we avoided that. That was a close head-on right there, pal. Nope. See what I mean about the back end wanting to come around on that throttle? When you floor it, it just, this car is like, whoa, that's pretty squirrely. Second place is down to seven seconds now, so I better get a move on. Just pushing that corner so bad, he loves to slide up the track. Seven seconds. I'm gonna have to get a move on here, but I don't want him to catch me. In case I get in some kind of a bad wreck, I want to be able to have. Fairly decent cushion. You are just bound and determined to freaking son of a gun me, aren't you? I think you're dead now, so. There's second place right there. Yeah, you dead now. Definitely does not like to turn going through that little section right there. Are we at seven seconds? Uh, come on. Slowly gaining on me. Of course, I was taking it easy there for a little while. There's one in the middle of the track. Not anymore. Yeah, the back end of this thing just really loves to spin out like that. When you get on the gas hard. Come on. Watch it. All those black dots on the map. All the cars that are dead. Seconds. There's only three cars left. And why do those cars sit perfectly still and then when you try to come up to them, they want to move across the track, whether it's backwards or forwards, anything to get in your path. Car's on fire, completely dead, but now he still wants to roll down in front of me. I mean, what the hell? This thing just does not like to stop. I mean, it's a decent enough car, but it is a handful. It is a handful. I know there's another car here somewhere. Is there? Or did he get wrecked out? No, there's still three of us. I didn't see where he went. He's definitely 23 seconds behind, and I'm hitting the wall. 
I'm not sure what happened to second place. He's 2.0 seconds behind me. 2.9, that must be him right there. Maybe? Oh, I'm the only one left. I am the only one left, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody else DNF'd. I am the only one left. What's up, everybody? Over there in the crowd. How's it going? All right, well, I am the only one left. Everybody else is dead. Big grandstand over there. Never noticed that before and we're finished. Okay. Well, that was a hell of a deal. And we got a side protector for the Bandit Ripper V8. We got one more race to go, and then uh, I'm going to make myself some breakfast. And we're on the outer oval again. Is this three times we've been here? Two for sure. Anyway, so we'll get this one in. We will call it a video. I definitely appreciate everybody stopping by. Appreciate all my subscribers, all my viewers, anybody that leaves a comment. We will add your name to the list at the end of each video. I put up a list, subscribers, viewers, people who comment. You do not have to subscribe to make it to the list. But you do have to leave a comment. I prefer that you subscribe. That would definitely help out my channel. And subscribing is absolutely free. You can't beat free. And then uh, my subscribers do get notified when I am posting videos, especially if I'm going to be live. So if you want to catch me when I'm live, you need to subscribe and you will get notified when I am live. We'll probably be doing some live at some point. Another one or a couple, maybe today, maybe tomorrow. I do have tomorrow off. I am currently working on a project outside. In my uh, yard, I got a big old dumpster out there. It wasn't bad. 100 and, or not 100, 269 dollars, I think, for a 15 yard dumpster. It's like eight by four by six or something. You can look it up online. Just. Just look up uh, 15, the measurements on a 15 yard dumpster. What really surprised me when I was getting this dumpster is there was a uh, another outfit that I called because I always call around for pricing. Got to get the best deal, right? And their 12 yards, they say 12 yard dumpster was exactly the same size as the 15. So when I, when I called this guy for the dumpster, I was like, you know, I was looking at somebody else's website and their dumpster's the same size as yours, but they call it a 12-yarder. What's up with that? He's like, I don't know. That's just whatever. I'm like, okay. So, yeah, mine's 8 by 4 by 6 or something. I'd have, to, I'd have to look. It's definitely 8 feet long, 4 feet high. And they say it's a 15-yarder. It's pretty good size. Got a big old door on the back, of course. So that's a project we've been working on yes day outside swept my ass off get a little lightheaded my wife was like you were coming in the house I'm like okay so I came in the house got a shower pretty much just chilled out in the house in the recliner and uh, went to bed early last night got up real early this morning my first video was at 4 a.m. if you'd like to check that out And then this one here, so I'm waiting for the sun to come up. It should be in a cardinal turn. Because it's a little after 6 o'clock a.m. right now, so the sun will be coming up here shortly. Maybe another hour or so. And then we're going to get outside and continue on with our project and get some stuff done. 
hopefully by about noon. When it starts warming up outside, it's going to be another 80, I think 85 today. Uh, then we'll be in the house in the afternoon, get some housework done, and probably get some more videos done, and maybe either record a live session or just go, I mean, not record a live session, but record a live, uh, record a, uh, what am I trying to say here? It's early, folks. I've only had one cup of coffee. Um, record some online. That's what I was, that's what I was thinking of. We're going to record some, um, maybe I'll record some online videos and then maybe do something later on this afternoon or early evening. If I do live streams, I would like to try to do it around 7 o'clock, but who knows. So we shall see how that goes, and that should finish us off. That was first. Let's see what our overall, so we got a pointed beam for the Bandit Ripper. I'm probably never ever going to use any of these parts that I'm collecting, but hey, what you going to do? So let's see how we finished up overall. Bonus target, 7 out of 12. Total points, 480 out of 600. So not the greatest. But we did manage to, uh, that is still locked. That is still locked. That's open, that's open, that's locked, that's locked. So we got a couple more here to get done before we can get back to this one. So apparently we're gonna have to get, we got four here that we can do. Maybe one of these will unlock that one and then we can get back to that one that's locked and that one that's locked. But we shall see how it goes. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Take care of yourself and others. We'll see you on the next one.